Oh, I wish I had a fork and a mirror. Why? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is this thing? Isn't it neat? <laughs> yes. All right. So we're going to read for you for the month of July. And before we do so, here we are underwater doing weird things. And we're going to tell you something weirder. Uh, we're actually forming a network, and if you are into metaphysical activities or think that you would like to read for some of your fellow viewers, um, click on the link below. We're forming a network, and uh, we'd like to make this more inclusive. Mm -hmm. So you guys are reading for each other, and um, eventually we'll put together a school for the Tarot. Mm -hmm. Um, so that we can bring even more people in, but that's the plan. That's the plan. And I think that's a nice way to do it because uh, it allows everyone to express themselves. Yes. And that's what it's all about. It's how you express the wisdom of the Tarot. Exactly. So, so, what we do here at Virtual Tarot, if you haven't watched before, is a four-card spread. We read four cards every month. The first card representing the overall environment of the month. And the second, the second card. card, pardon me, is the challenge. And the third? Would be the unexpected. Forewarned is forearmed. We've uh, trademarked that. Don't use that. <laughs> and then? And the last card is the outcome. There you go. A little storyline, wrap it up, right. spiritual counsel, goodbye. Uh -huh. Okay, you ready? Ready. Okay, so we're going to do a recap for you, Sag. Oh, my. And Sag, I just want to say, you guys are exciting. You are. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Um, powerful people. These are the philosophers of the zodiac. The teachers. Yes. The adventurers. The, the curious sportsmen. ones. You had. You're sort of multi-talented. Yes, you're ever expanding. Yeah, the sort of the Renaissance uh, sign. Mm-hmm. My favorite right. fire sign. Also, my rising sign. By coincidence. And I am quite the Sag. You are. You are. So I would like to say this reading kind of had me watching it oh yes more than once yeah. <laughs> wondering how this would play out the first card that we received uh if for the month of june was death death yes so you are a newborn <clears throat> baby in july and june in june right yes uh yeah that's true. And then in May, the last card that we had was the Minor Arcana Death card, which was the Ten of Swords. Right. So something had ended and something was beginning. Right. So this is one door closing, another door opening. So that's what it is. And it's right in between. So perhaps the whole month is this transition mm -hmm. where you shut one door as you had lived before. Uh, in your career, in your home, in your family relationship, and you open up another door. And this is the sort of the hall, little hallway between the two. Mm -hmm. And it is a change on a cellular level, which yeah. is the shedding of the old completely right, and then the regeneration of... It's a transformative month. Sag. Right, for Sag. So the next card... The challenge was... Was... The devil. The devil, oh my... Sex, drugs, oh. rock and roll, and food. And bullies. And clothes. <laughs> and Whatever uh, you're addicted and, to. And uh, power plays. Yes. Uh, some and in a relationship of power plays. Yes, and yeah, that would be sex, right? Sex, mm -hmm. or just... The other sex, or the same sex. Who's the dominant sex. one? Who's, yes. the do who's, uh, who's going to dominate? Mm -hmm. And it's uh, obviously the solution would be a, a relationship of equals. Yes. Where you're not dominated and you don't dominate. And so that was your challenge. It, yeah. it was to immerse yourself in the necessities and not satiate yourself in the... Or become too materialistic. Or a pleasure pig. Or a... Yeah, there you go. And so the next card that came up was a fabulous card, wonderful card, the Houdini card. Oh, unexpectedly, you manifest... We had the magician. You manifest what you want, you get what you want, you, you become willful. This is the action card. You take action. You're the lightning rod. Right. You're able to kind of make things come to pass. Yes. Uh, from, you put it together. Yeah, into the material plane. Right. And this is, uh, this is art. This is 
music, this dance, whatever it is that you do, you express. So you, it's, it's communication too. And then at the end of the month, once again, and I have to back up a little bit because what we had said was great, you can manifest, but you can manifest just about anything. Mm -hmm. You know, we can manifest anything. So at the end, we had the Ten of Swords again, and we had said you had a great run, Sag. Mm -hmm. You're back on your face, but mm -hmm. that's okay. Something else is, has to go. Well, this is the last nail in the coffin. Once again. Um, you just, you've had it. That's enough. You don't want to take any more, so you end a very stressful, pressured situation. You end it, it's resolved, at the end of the month, it's over. And it could have been ending an addiction problem. Could be too. Or a or, power play, power struggle. Right. There could be an end that is brought to that, which is right. very positive. Right, it could be. So Quite a few ways to look at that reading. Right, and or you, you have back problems. <laughs> And Maybe they or, overburdened yourself and your body, and yes. which is which Saj can do, and mm -hmm. you uh, suffer some sort of back issue. That could be too. Yes. So a reoccurring that, back issue. A reoccurring back issue. But in the end, it looks as if we're starting over once mm -hmm. again. <laughs> it's almost a reboot every month right. for you. <laughs> right. So we're rebooting again. And let's see what happens right, in, see the what happens in, in the July. month of July. And we're underwater, so everything's new and different here. Yeah. It's not like last month. We're not doing the goddess reading. It's the cup reading. Okay, so someone's blocking the driveway. All right, I want to make sure that we have the Six reversed. of Swords in reverse. Okay. And the Six of Swords is all about movement, movement away from that which has kept you uh, sort of in a, a place that's not uh, as you're comfortable not or serene up. as you would like mm -hmm. for it to be. So you're living there. Right, you're not ready to move on. Mm -hmm. Or you can't move or on. Or you can't move on. So you're still, you still have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. You still have to deal with some of these uh, issues mm -hmm. and you aren't ready yet to move away from it because you have to um, resolve uh, uh, rationally. Also, the season may not be right. You know, I was watching this movie, Happy People, mm -hmm. about the people who live in Siberia, mm -hmm. who live on this island. There are 300 of them, mm -hmm. and they can only move or leave the island at certain times of the year because, oh, because the the, everything is frozen. Right. So the boat can't, like, go. Yeah. Right. You may have found yourself sort of docked. You're docked for a while. Mm -hmm. You're just docked. That's all. That's it. Yeah. So, let's see. What is challenges? coming up? Oh, that's it. The challenges. Ooh. Ooh to, this is the, do I want to go, do I want to stay card. The Christopher this Columbus is the card. Christopher, do, you, do I stay with the familiar, which is what the first card is about, Yep. or do I take a chance and leave the familiar and try something absolutely new. Huh. And so that's the challenge. And it's all minor arcana stuff at this point. Well, it's, it's about a situation. This decision. You have to mm -hmm. make a decision to stay where you are or to leave and go to a new environment. Mm -hmm. that you want very much, you, you have a, you're tired of a certain situation. Well, it's escape too. Well, it can be. There's but, a certain amount of escapism that goes along with that. But holding on to that wand, that's where your security is. Mm -hmm. You're looking at the globe because you want, you, you're envisioning the possibilities, mm -hmm. but you're not, your challenge is to make that choice to move into the three, which would be hmm. where you launch. Interesting. Right. And, and then what do we have? Oh, look at that. Ooh, okay, unexpectedly. so unexpectedly up comes the Ten of Cups. Holy smokes. Which I like to call the Remax card because it reminds me of the Remax commercials where they buy this house and then suddenly everything's perfect. They perfect. have like the perfect moment in the backyard oh because goodness. there's a tree house. Oh my you know, goodness, it's, yes. It's like those little moments where everything is Success. You beautiful. win. You, you weren't able to go at, at the beginning. Mm-hmm. But then all of a Your sudden, there you are. Was, was to make that choice to leave, and there you are. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, unexpectedly, boof, you, you, you've actually created a very 
idyllic, perdisical environment it's for like yourself. It's like poof. Poof. Um, Which may go back to that. Happy family. It's uh, it's the 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 end of a long sojourn, a, a, a journey, mm -hmm. and you've come to the the rainbow. The rainbow appears after the storm. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. The rainbow appears suddenly, and you're saved. You're there. You're you're nourished. You're loved. Everything is okay. Well, the magician showed up last month mm -hmm. in this position. I thought that was kind of interesting mm -hmm. because you can just, it is like poof. Poof. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> so don't worry. Don't worry, yeah. If you feel like you're stuck or somebody's got you blocked or you are your own block, mm -hmm. you can't get it together, you can't move on because... Something will happen out of the blue. Yeah. Or you're going to get maybe just sort of a flash of what it will look like. Uh-huh. Or, or you actually achieve it. Mm-hmm. And there you go. Look at the at end, that. you do. You achieve it. To achieve it. So what is it that Sag seems to want? They seem to want this family situation, well, which is... It could be family. It, it, it's depicted it's as a family. It's perfection. Right. It, it is the, the, the end of the journey when it comes to like creating something that will make you feel good right. and encircled by those who love you. Yeah, right. It's a happy family situation, whether that family is a real genetic family or it's a, um, a family of co-workers or a family. The neighbors, the community, your community mm -hmm. is very much, it's a community of people that um, are all uh, wishing each other well helping each other, supporting each other, emotionally supportive of one another. Well, it's getting what you want. A nine of cups at the end means that, well... You got it. You got it. It's your wish. Your wish comes true. This is the wish fulfillment card. You get your wish. Mm -hmm. It starts out with some sort of block. You can't get going. Your challenge is to make that choice, to release what's familiar, um, and to venture out into the unfamiliar and you suddenly have so much support uh, from your teammates or your housemates or your uh, career office mates or whatever it may be for you. And at the end, we have this <sighs> almost celebration mm -hmm. because this is a feast that he's attending. Yes. And he's self-satisfied. And this is all minor, and so if you're feeling as if there's no joy to be had, oh, it's because coming. you can't move on, you're gonna see right. joy this month. Ah, because of last month, with mm -hmm. all the death and the mm -hmm. ten But that's major and... stuff. We don't right. have any major stuff. No, this is kind of like the universe playing out a, a scenario for you to show you that you can have what you want, that's sort right. of on a bigger scale. Um, that you can manifest what you want to manifest because we did have that magician last month. Right, right. And that drawing of boundaries right. where you're like, nope, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going right. to do it different. The universe is going to say, guess what? Here it is. Here's an example. This is what you can have you in the month mm -hmm. with what you want. Well, this is a true feeling of sad. Both of these cards, it's extraordinary. The second half of the month, in fact, most of the month, it's just the beginning that it's a little tough to get Get going. Get going. Yeah. But at the end, whew, uh, all kinds of celebration, all kinds of parties, all kinds of happiness and mm -hmm. sharing and, and goodness. Yeah. Um, it all comes true for you. And you're going to feel great. These are all cup cards. This yeah. is about feeling great. Feeling great. Enjoying Inspired. The summer, enjoying, en enjoying all the Enjoying um, all the gifts that you've been given. Mm -hmm. The bounty of the, the summer. The bounty. So there you go. Have a great summer. I think it's wonderful. Sag, Yay. what a great thing. You did manifest everything that you wanted to manifest. You did. You did. Family. Right. You came through it. Good food. <laughs> a few parties. Adventure. Adventure. And uh, you get that boat out of the harbor. <laughs> you get moving. Uh, you get moving. There might be some trips happening here, there too. There might be. There might be some travel. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, so thanks a lot. Thank you, Sagittarius. And if you need a private reading, just come to our website. You can see it below and pick out a reading. And uh, we've had a lot. And so please be patient. We'll try to get to you as soon as we can. Thanks. And have a good summer. See you.
August. Bye.